Hi everyone. Let's solve this. X squared minus two squared equals x plus two. The first step is to expand what we have here. And the expansion of this is going to give us x to the power of four minus 4x to the power of 2 plus 2 squared, which will be 4. The expansion of this will give us this, and it will be equal to x plus 2. Now, let us collect terms. x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared. This becomes minus x. Then here we have plus 4 this is plus 4, then this is um, minus 2 on the left hand side. Everything equals 0. So x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared minus x plus 4, okay plus 2 now, 4 minus 2 is 2, equals 0. Okay, and then we can just factorize what we have here. x squared is common to this 2. So here we'll have 1x squared, minus here we have just 4, close that. Then we have, um, let me put this in brackets, so we're going to have negative x minus 2. So that if you open this bracket now, this negative will affect this one. Now we can apply difference of two squares here. So we have x squared into this is going to be x minus 2 into x plus 2 using difference of two squares because 4 is 2 squared minus x minus 2 then we have 0 what is common to them now is um, x minus 2 so x minus 2 is out as a common factor then here I have x squared into x plus 2 then minus the whole of this is out so we have one over there and then we equate to zero now x minus two here is a factor then we open this bracket x cube plus two x squared right then we have minus one this is equal to zero and then from here, it is obvious that either of these must be 0 since we are multiplying these two to get 0. So our x minus 2 is 0, meaning that x is equal to 0 plus 2 and that x is equal to 2. This is one of the solutions. Now to get the other solutions, I will pick this, which is x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared minus 1 and equate it to 0 and for us to solve this I would like us to make this factorizable okay so to do that look at the method I want to use x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 is equal to zero. I have not really changed anything, just that I want it to be factorizable, right? Yes, I want it to be factorizable. Okay, because if you look at this, one minus one is nothing. So this equation and this equation are the same equations. Now to go ahead, we have x cubed plus two x squared. Um minus 1 minus 1 that will give us minus 2 then we still have plus 1 there equals 0 now what if i bring this to this we now have x to the power of 3 plus 1 then plus 2x squared minus 2 equals 0 now we can group this and factorize it then factorize this from here now, this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3. Then here we have what is common is 2. Okay, if 2 comes out, 
52 comes out of this we are going to have um okay there's a plus here let me still write that we have um 2x squared minus 2 to be equal to 0 so let's continue okay so we now have x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 then plus what is common here is 2 so i'll write 2 out then here again i have x squared minus 1 okay then this is equal to 0 i've not done anything here so we still have x to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 3 then plus from here now we still have 2 then we have x minus 1 into x plus 1 equals 0 from difference of two squares difference of two squares so what again should i do i will now work on this using difference of um okay addition of two cubes and if you have a cube plus b cube this is the same thing as a plus b see that into a squared minus a b plus b cube b squared rather so this is what we have for the addition of cubes now what should we do we will now go back and write this in this form so a plus b now will be x plus one or half x plus one here then into a squared that will be x squared minus a b that will be x times one and it is x plus b squared which will be one squared and it's still one close that then plus go over to this where we have um okay we have two into x minus one into x plus one equals zero from here we have this now x plus one here is a common factor so we have x plus one coming out as a factor then here we have x squared minus x plus one right then plus two into x minus one because x plus one is already out then we equate to zero now what do i do from here x plus 1 is still the common factor then we open this bracket x squared minus x plus 1 plus 2x minus 2 then we equate to 0 going ahead we have x plus 1 in this then here we have x squared minus x plus 2x will give us plus x right then 1 minus 2 will give us minus 1. Then we equate to 0. Okay, so from here now, we can say that this is equal to 0 or this again is equal to 0. So x plus 1 is 0, meaning that x is equal to 0 minus 1 and our x is equal to minus 1. This is one of the solutions. And then the next thing is to equate this to 0 again. And if we do that, we're going to have x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. Let's use the formula for this. x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. a is 1, b is 1, c is minus 1. So that means that our x is going to be minus 1 plus or minus. We have b squared, which will be 1 squared. 1 squared minus 4 times a times, times minus 1. Because c is minus 1 now. Then we divide by 2 times 1. Right? So to continue, our x will now be minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times minus 1 that will give us plus 4 and then this is divided by 2 times 1 which is 2 
to go ahead from here, our x will now be minus 1 plus or minus, we have square root of 5 over 2. And this is a 2 in 1 solution. So we have that our x is minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 or minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Right? Now, I think this is it. We've solved everything. Let's bring the four solutions together. Okay, so this right here are the four solutions. We can call this our x1, our x2, our x3, and our x4. Thank you for watching.